इंटरनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ लीफ इज मोस्ट सुटेबल फॉर फोटो सिंथेसिस एक्टिविटी ए ट्रांसफर सेक्शन ऑफ ए टिपिकल लीव शोज दैट इट इज कवर्ड बाई एपिडर्मिस ऑन बोथ सर्फेस द अपर एपिडर्मिस ऑन द अपर सर्फेस एंड लोअर एपिडर्मिस ऑन द लोअर सर्फेस एपिडर्मिस इज इंटरप्टेड बाई लार्ज नंबर ऑफ ओपनिंग कॉल स्टोमाटा The central opening is called stoma. Each stoma is surrounded by two kidney-shaped cells called guard cells. Stomata regulate the exchange of gases and loss of water vapor from the leaves. Tissues enclosed between the two epidermal layers is called the mesophyll. Mesophyll consists of elongated cells arranged in rows called the palisade parenchyma. It also has irregular arranged cells with large intercellular space known as spongy parenchyma. The mesophyll cell contains abundant chloroplasts. More palisade tissue occurs in leaves exposed to bright light than those exposed to shade. Vascular bundles in the leaf are located in the midrib and the veins. In each vascular bundle of the leaf, phloem is located towards the lower side. and exlam towards the upper side leaf anatomy is suitable for entry of carbon dioxide into the closely packed palisade cells on the leaf more photosynthesis activity take place in the upper side of the leaf on this side the palisade cell contain more number of chloroplasts than the loosely arranged spongy parenchyma cells towards inner side organization of the leaf is suitable for entry of raw material synthesize of sugar and transport of the photosynthetate gaseous carbon dioxide passes from atmosphere into the leaf through diffusion and reaches the chloroplast water is transported from the roots through xylem by veins and its branches this is a large surface area to receive light leaf has a petiole to have a free play against wind and enables the lamina to face more light oxygen produced during photosynthesis diffuses outside through stomata sugar is converted into starch in the chloroplast during the day time and at night starch is to sugar the sugar will pass through phloem to other parts